Hey everyone, Monk7Mad here today with an avatar forward slash logo tutorial sort of walkthrough kind of thingamajiggy and today I have to first state that these images on the left are not made by me today we're going to be sort of talking about the avatars and logos and how to build each of them, a few of the differences and uh, we'll, we'll be making some stuff too so the first thing I've got to point out is the difference between an avatar and a logo some of you might think they're the same thing some of you might be like, well why are you doing these two together if they're different? Well. You can actually use a logo and an avatar, but you can't use an avatar avatar in a logo. Now, in my view, an avatar is a bit like a passport in that it's a picture which shows you or your channel, and then after time you have to sort of update it or you choose to update it. Now, with a passport you don't actually choose to update it, you just update it every every so often, but the whole idea is that you can change it and you can do sort of as many as you want with an avatar and with an avatar there's also no restrictions because you can add whatever you want whether it's 2d 3d tons of colors a picture or anything else as long as it fits in the size dimensions it's fine however with a logo a logo is a one-time thing which you make which is generally used to represent something and it's primarily or mostly associated with businesses so for example Facebook fantastically large social networking site now and I can't ever see them changing their logo for the sole reason that they've spent time effort and resources getting their logo out there so that people can look at that and be able to say ah, that's Facebook and the same for Twitter and many many other companies now you might actually notice some very simple things in the logos here and that is that they're very simple in fact some of them are in fact if you just look at them there's only three things that you can see they do. They either combine two let two sort of letters or words together or anything like that. So EA, two letters joined together. Phase clan, two letters joined together. They either add a shape in it. So for example, Twitter, which is a shape of a bird, or Deviant Art, I'm not really sure what that is. I'm imagining that's just a shape. Uh the other one is actually Skype and they actually use text so the whole word Skype but they cut it out of a shape just like how they have cut the letter F out of Facebook here and the same for YouTube except with YouTube instead of it just being text cut out of a shape there's also some text in front of the shape as well so it's either just a shape shape and text or just text so it's one of those three things and you all know is they're actually very very simple and they're all 2D as well so with a logo, stay 2D, stay simple. I wouldn't say add too many colors. If you actually look at these ones as their icons, they don't really go too many colors. I would say absolutely two colors at the most. So with Facebook here, we've got sort of a blue and then a gray blue. They're the two colors. White is actually just the letter F, but I wouldn't really constitute that as another color. Color is something that allows it to stand out probably more so like a green or a red and I know white is a color but in terms of how I would see it as a logo I would see it as just sort of any color that's not white or black now what I tried to do when I built my avatar is I tried to build a logo for my avatar so something that I could keep that would represent my channel and I could use it in all my avatars to come and these are some of the concepts I came up with in Cinema 4D and these are actually horrendous and I made some 3D examples here and I sort of settled on a shape but in 3D you know an avatar can be fine but I don't like these you know I, I think it looks a lot neater in 2D and if you look at the intro on my channel now it's also 2D as well and you know I quite like it because it's clean and that's something you also want to be able to do so here are some of the examples I came up with I know I apologize for them being a bit of a mess but there's a few things I just want to point out here so these were the first two I came up with and they're simply the letters M and the number 7. And in fact they contain two number 7s because I wanted to try and figure out ways that I could combine two things together just like EA and you know things like Imagine Controllers or, sorry Custom Controllers and Imagine Customs etc. They just combine things together. So I got two 7s here in the top of the M and the main differences here are the fonts. And the fonts open up thousands and thousands of different different options and opportunities that you can choose. Some are simple, and then you've got to think about how you can combine things together. 
I know a lot of channels do single letter things, but even then, their fonts are all different, and they all look different to some extent. Now, we're going to build a logo quickly first, and then we're going to build an avatar which looks like this. And I'll probably run out of time towards the end, so I'll have to rush that through. But uh, there will be one avatar which I'll show you in a minute, which uh, if you want to see, I just thought I'd show it off, but if you want to see how to do it, I'll put a, a uh, put it in the comment section below and I'll try and get on with it. So I just want to show you the very quick progression that I went through. So I went through these two first, and I thought, no. I ended up with just combining two letters like this. Then I thought about adding a style. And a layer style is actually also a thing that will offer you thousands more opportunities again. And I thought, maybe that's not the one for me. So I thought about, how about just cutting it out of a shape? And I cut it out of a shape. And I thought about changing the colour of the shape to white. And then I thought about just having a standard one that's slightly gradient like Facebook where they've got like say a blue on top and a grey on the bottom but in this case I've got grey on the top and a black on the bottom to keep it more simple and then I thought about some colours that might look a little bit better so whether it's white and blue and, and so on and I thought about loads of different things so let's go and build a logo quickly so what we could do is if I make a new document, approximately logos, I just generally see them about 300 pixels by 300 pixels. I don't know why I just seem to see that a lot. So I'd say stick with that, but you can also change it. It's, it's up to you as well. So some things that you got to keep very, very important, which are very important at that. Okay, they have to be able to be read. So if I do the letters M and 7, you can see them quite nice and clear. If I was to do it with a different font, like for example this one they don't look very suitable at all and although you can see them they just don't suit whatever you're doing so you also have to try and think about things like themes now I know Minecraft actually has a font on dafont.com so you want to check that out if you're interested in doing something to do with Minecraft there are some which don't have sort of numbers in all of them so you have to be quite careful if you've got numbers on your channel like mine then there are some which you know a little bit more techno-y and you think yeah that's all right but it doesn't really look like a logo and I'll do one which shows uh, hang on this one okay so both extremely easy to read but even if they're easy to read and you think oh that's a good font Sometimes you've got to think, how do I combine the two together? Some people will just literally end up resulting in just putting them side by side, which is fine. But if you want to make it special or look like a logo, I'd say you have to combine them in some way. So you could try and combine it on the top. No, okay, what about the side like that? No, what about on the other side? No, but you get the whole idea that you, the the font and everything can completely change everything. I mean, if I was to change both of these to a to an, I'll duplicate them actually. So let me find that duplicate, and I'm just going to change the font, and you'll just see how different it'll be. Okay, if I change it to, let's say I'm because my channel is a bit more sort of digital artwork, sort of like uh, building stuff, tutorials, etc. I'm actually 95% more tutorials than anything else, but. Okay, if I see something like that, which is called Wild Style Fade, how I would combine these together is not only very difficult to see, but you know it's not appropriate. Well, it's not it's not appropriate, but I mean you just can't read it. You got to make it so people can see what it is. And I think I'd rather have one that's really basic like that than one that's trying to overcomplicate it. A lot of people just try and overcomplicate it to show off a technique or something. You don't need to. Just keep it nice and simple. So, let's have a look how we're doing for time very quickly. Okay, we're pushing time very badly here. Okay, so I'm just going to do my one as it is. So I used the font called Zyrod, and I ended up just combining the two like this. I then select both layers opposite click rasterize the type if they're text then you want to merge them together so that if you do a style then you can edit it as one so okay that scenario that's fine if you want to keep it like that that's fine you can change the color to black white whatever you whatever you're really interested in if you want to do a shape what you could do is if you hold shift while you're drawing a shape as well it also creates a perfectly proportioned shape so if we've got a shape here 
like that. Maybe that's cool. Maybe you like it like that. But maybe you want to cut out the shape. So if you want to cut out the shape, what do you do? Okay, so you click on the shape firstly, then you rasterize it as well. So get used to the term rasterizing. It literally means just sort of making it one single layer that you can edit in effect. Then you're going to go onto the text. If you want to cut it out of the shape, you place it in the middle or wherever you want to put it. You click control and then you click on the picture where the text is. And what you'll notice it'll do is it will make a selection. And to remove from the actual shape, you have to click on the shape layer, so the circle shape beneath it, then press delete. And if I now deselect by pressing control D and I actually go over to where the text is and I turn it off so you can't see it with the visibility then you'll see now that this circle has the M and 7 cut out of it so you could do that with several shapes and you can even draw your own shapes as well and you can add more shapes sort of together to make it look like one shape as well if you wanted to I'm just saying try not to use too much to make it look too mad I suppose and to make there even more choices if you double click on it you get a layer style box and this layer style box means you can edit how it looks the style of it so you can add things like a glow a shadow change the color and there's also some presets and I will also be releasing a, a color layer style pack soon but uh, I'll need to have a little bit of support for that because uh, otherwise I won't think anyone will want it and just bouncing through these just very simply clicking on them there are tons of different styles and looks available some a lot more suitable than others I mean there are absolutely tons of options that you can go with you probably will end up going with something simple like this and then just uh, adding a shadow and then a glow and, a, and another shadow to give some perception now in terms of an avatar what you want to do is you, if you want to build it like this I'm going to show you how to build this very quickly actually see how we've got for time oh three minutes to build this this is going to be tricky okay right we'll have a go though right fill in the layer in any color you're going to double click on the layer click on the patterns I'll supply the patterns that I use in the description you're going to firstly click on uh, which one is it don't do this to me now right this one you're then going to click OK. You're then going to make your text or whatever it is to go on top of it. And then you're going to double click on that and you're going to add another pattern. And this pattern is also going to be supplied and it's the metal one. You're going to click OK. Actually, if you actually you can add a stroke as well. If you add a stroke, make sure it's size 4 and grey. Click OK. Then you're going to click control, click on the text which you've added and then you're going to click on the background shape and press delete and that will give it a little bit more perception then what you're going to do is you're going to get your paintbrush make the brush smaller, pick a colour and you're going to paint in all of these lines now I've done it to save some time now what it will do is it won't end up like that to start with, it'll actually end up like that so what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the layer go to outer glow you're going to make it so that the color in this box is the same as the color that you've used so use the pipette to choose it click OK then you're going to change the size to 16 pixels and click OK and finally to finish it off you're going to change that blend mode from normal so click the drop down arrow to color and that will sync in and if you're not happy with that color go to image adjustments and then change the hue and saturation to whatever you want then you're going to do the same thing again just get a standard text type in your channel name cover that in the same pattern if you want or you can change it maybe even just add a gradient click OK then file save for web and devices it's quite nice quality then you just save it and upload it to YouTube now if you're interested in seeing this this is the 3d text tutorial so if you want to see this let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching guys I apologize for the rush at the end I have tried to film this about 40 times today and uh, this is the final one. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. And as always, take care.